Welcome to this tutorial on 123D Design. Uh, we'll just open up the application and the first thing you see on opening the application is a working plane that we're going to use to actually create the drawing. Uh, you'll see on the right hand side there's a component drawer or, uh, which opens and closes. The component draw is quite important because this is how we actually structure the actual designs. And I'm going to start by clicking and holding on a cube and I click and hold and drag it onto the work plane and place it wherever I feel is most appropriate. Once it's on the plane, uh, we can then maneuver the uh, document around um, and actually, or the working plane rather, around to see where with two fingers or a single finger to just move it around. Um, and if you do get lost, you can just click on this little button at the top and it'll take you straight back to where you were. Right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start editing. So we're going to use this toolbar down the left hand side, and the third one on the bottom, and then third again. And this is the edit tool. So it allows you to edit the primitive by clicking on it, then dragging the arrow. And you can be quite precise, so we'll make it five centimeters extra in length. Um, but you can also be quite accurate. So you can click on the actual arrow rather than uh, dragging it, and it brings down this uh, fine adjust uh, dialog box where you can type in exactly the size you want and it just moves it out to scale uh, which is quite useful we're going to click hold and drag in a new object we're going to make some wheels uh, and again it allows me to snap it to the face of an object so I can actually put it right in the middle and it'll snap to there but we're going to put it in a position where a wheel will go um, about there I'll do for now uh, next thing I need to do is edit it so I'm going to go back to the edit tool uh, click on that third one from the bottom select the side face of the wheel and start to drag it in to make it proportionally look like a wheel again scale and uh, the scale and the proportions more important rather than the size at the moment i'm going to move and again we can go to the move tool at the top here just click on that and it brings these arrows up and you can just click on the arrows um, place it in a position where you want it to be so you can see what you're doing uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to select the move tool uh, up at the top there to select the actual um, uh, what are going to be the wheels and I'm just going to this end one uh, effectively what we're going to do is we're going to um, add the wheel so it comes out either side of the body so it's too short at the moment so we want it to go to about there as in size um, so again just thinking of proportion I'm just going to put it back in sort of where the middle is a bit just so it's a little bit easier a little bit further over it's, it'll probably go more but that'll do for now I'm going to go back down to the edit tools and I'm going to select this face first and drag it out to where I think it should be and about there proportionally I think that looks about right same on the other side select that face drag it out oh I think it's too long yeah it's too long so we're going to click and hold and drag it back in again just a fraction so it looks about the same as the one at the front now the really cool thing about this is we don't have to do that again we can just copy it by clicking and holding on the object we want and it brings this dialog box up and we're going to duplicate now that's exactly in line with the other one uh, uh, the the original one I'm just going to drag it so it's on top of the other one so therefore I knew where it was and then just put it more towards the front about there I'll do I think yeah that's about right yeah that's okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little cab into it okay so we're going to put a little man and we're going to sit him in the cab so I'm going to click and hold on the uh, cylinder tool again and drag a cylinder in because we're going to have this little cab that we're going to put in so again see the way it locks to where I want it to go let's move it to so it's not not quite in the middle I'll drag it up a bit maybe take it so the center lines not going through the top of the object drag it more towards the back a bit that'll do now the really cool thing about this is we're going to use this object to cut out a hole in that uh, cube we started off with originally with so let's drag this right through doesn't as long as it's not touching something else just drag it all the way through the object and we're going to essentially select the cube that we've we've modified first by using this tool here and it's important to select the object you want to keep and then the cylinder and there we go it removes it now it's really important at this point to think about we've actually got three objects here so what we're going to do is we're going to join both wheels to the body of the car so again I need to select the body of the car then the front wheel so that becomes part of the same object again the body of the car then the wheel so that's now seen as one object so if I move it all the objects are seen as one object 
rather than two separate ones. And what we can do now is we can add a bit of shape to the car because it's looking a bit square. So we've got some additional edit tools. So we, we have all these tools up here, but a bit like earlier, when we did the scale tool, we're going to click on this one and we're going to do a, a, sh a fillet on the front. And this allows us to fillet a, there we go, about to there, just round it off nicely so it looks like the front. And then we're going to chamfer the back end of the car so it's more squared off rather than rounded. About there will do. That'll do nicely for now. And the next thing we need to do now really is to look at the bottom of the car because in essentially the wheels are just look like um, you know steamrollers. So what we'll do is we'll grab a cube and we're going to use that cube to cut away some of that center section. So I'll drag that in with my finger, click it. And again, see, notice the way it locks in position when it sort of finds the center. So that's about the center. So it does it for me. Now it's a bit uh, wide this, so I'm going to narrow it down again using those fine uh, adjustment tools by going to the size tool, clicking on the face, click on the arrow, and then we can take it in, you know, quite finely by clicking on this, do minus 0 0.02 or minus 2 rather, uh, 0.2, 10 over the other side, do exactly the same thing, click on the face, uh, use the fine adjustment tool and type minus 0.2, enter, there we go, it's about right. And again, what we can do this time is drag both of these uh, surface faces outwards. Again, as long as they're not touching anything, it doesn't matter where they go to. So it's going from there, and then click on this face, drag that right out again. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to remove some of the objects. Oh, let's just move it around so we can see what we're doing. About there, that'll do nicely. Again, we're going to remove that base. So we're going to click on the car, select the car, then select the bottom piece. And then as you can see, we've now got a nice um, um, a section underneath the chassis of the car. There we go. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little man inside. And again, we're going to bring in this cylinder. And I put it on the top there on the flat bit. And that's why I kept that flat bit there so I could find the center very easily. Um, we're going to uh, make it uh, change the size. So I'm going to go to the size tool, take it down to a diameter I think is about right. That looks about proportionally correct for this body of this little man. Click to the move tool, move it more towards the center. So I can see it's uh, sitting in the cab uh, about there, I think. Drag him down, just move it to position. There we go, drag it down. And also one of the useful things is once you've dragged it in position, you can see through the object to see how far it's gone through. And again, size isn't important here. Now I'm gonna duplicate that and move it to the other side because I'm gonna use that as the body of the little man. Whereas this cylinder in the section I've just put here, I'm going to remove it. Um, so I'm going to select the car, um, select the cylinder. So I've removed it so my little man can sit in the center. Now that, that cylinder is a little bit too big now. So I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. Uh, so it's a friction fit. So I'm going to go type minus uh, point, uh, zero 0.05, enter. So just get it'll fit, but it's not very tight. I'm going to bring in this... Um, uh, uh, sphere next put that on the top there to make my little head again he's looking a little bit large on the head size so let's reduce the size of the head again just needs to be proportional looks about right let's drag it down so it's part of the body about there that'll do now again i'm going to make the body and the head all one um or one object rather than two objects so i'm selecting the head then the body so that's now one object and again um on the side here, I'm going to drag this cone in because I'm going to give him a little nose, uh, a little bit big at the moment. So I'm going to go to the um, size tool, click on the size tool, select the face, and drag it in again, just proportional to where I think it needs to go. Oops, a bit too much. But there'll do. That looks about right. If we zoom in now, what you'll see has happened though is it's touching the face, so it needs to use the move tool to drag it in so it's part of the face rather than sitting proud of the face. And again, just make that part of the object. So select the object, then the nose. So that's now one object. Still looking a bit plain. So we put a little peak cap on him. And what's really good is in the primitives, we've got lots of different types of shapes in here. We've got, you know, domes, all sorts of different shapes. Now for this, I'm going to use the uh, wedge tool. Uh, sorry, the wedge primitive to just drag that in. Now it's got nowhere really to lock where it's going to be exact because I've already locked the object together as one object so about there will do nicely for now 
And then what else we can do is below the move tool, you'll see that we have a the ability to rotate an object as well. So click on the rotation tool and these arrows appear. And again, it's exactly the same. We can just drag it around. We could actually click on it and take it to an exact size using the um, uh, fine adjust tool, but I'm just wanting a, 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 a fairly close enough to where I want to do. And now I'm using the scale tool, which is below it, which is a bit like the size tool, but um, not as uh, precise as if you want to get an exact size. I want it to be an approximate, so I'm just making it about the size I want. Starting to move it now so I can position it where I think I want the object to go. Um, so it's about there. I think the size is okay. Uh, I'll start to drag it down to so it looks a bit like a cap. I'll go to the scale tool again. Select, uh, in fact, no, I'm going to do the uh, size tool. Click on this face, drag it down to where I think it should be about. About there, I think. Go to the move tool, take it down into the body or part of the head of the object. Oop, a little bit too low there, I think. Oops, select just the peak, that's it. Drag it up a little bit more to about there, I think. Let's just look at it from the front. Oop, way off on the front, so let's just drag it further to the left here. About there will do think yeah that looks about right uh, and next, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, fillet tool uh, because I can select the side faces of the fill of the the object to actually um, make it so it's rounded off so it's like a peak cap um, now you've got to be careful not the front here because that, that rolls it back I want to touch the side of the object or the side of the um, of this and it, as you can see it rounds it off quite nicely to give me that peak cap look same on the other side Make it about the same sort of size. As you can see, it's not exactly in the right centre position, but for the purposes of this, it doesn't really matter. And there we go. We've now got our little man with his little peak cap. So now we've got our little man with his cap. We could carry on adjusting this and using the uh, fillet tool to actually change the shape a bit more. Uh, select fillet, and you could round it underneath, going from the other direction if you wanted to, uh, to change the shape. Um, entirely up to you. Well, I'm quite happy with my little man as he is at the moment. I'm just going to select the, uh, the the peak and the body again to make that one object, so it's not seen as two separate objects. And there we go. We've got our little man with his car, uh, which should be a nice friction fit if we use a 3D printer to print it. But at this stage, we haven't saved it, so it's really important to go up to the the um, uh, menu bar at the top there. Click save to iPad or save to wherever it is you're going to go. Uh, the other really cool thing is uh, one of the things that uh, people really like, though, is this color picker that's available, uh, which allows you to use this outer ring to change the colors uh, that you can take the, uh, the change the objects. Uh, we can move it around, change different colors. Let's try, I don't know, a green, for example. Turn it green. Um, uh, but one of the things that you can also do is not only you can use the outer ring to change the color, uh, so let's move it to red, you can also change the hue here by moving it backwards and forwards uh, and change it to another appropriate color. Uh, this also allows you to make colors darker, lighter, etc. and modify it. So there's our little man all sorted. Uh, one of the uh, next things you can do, which is useful if you do have separate objects, is being able to place objects exactly where you want them. So I want this little man to sit on the inside of the clab. So I'm going to use this magnet tool basically. And what it does is it allows me to select a part of the car uh, of where I want on the inside of the cabin. So I'm going to click on that part there, just in the middle. And I'm going to turn the drawing upside down so I can see the bottom and click on the base of the man and the two objects snap together. Hope you'll find this uh, tutorial of some use and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate in contacting me at uh, paulboyd at mac.com. Thank you very much.